like what are all the kisses? You want all the love? <laughs> Hello you guys and welcome back to the pig room or welcome to the pig room if you are new here as you can tell We got a new guest on this channel. This is <laughs> This is Mikey. He is <laughs> Obsessed with me as you could tell um, he's actually my friend's dog and he's staying here for the next week or so He's a New York dog So he's getting a nice break from the city and has fresh air greenery Nature dog park everything so he's gonna have a blast while he's here But I just kind of wanted to start off a vlog with you guys I know you guys seem to enjoy these and I enjoy recording them So yeah, it's gonna be filled with a bunch of cool stuff things are going really well in the pig room I took Kai to the vet and he actually ended up coming back totally fine after having a random night where his breathing was so bad very clicky very uri symptom like and took him to the vet a couple days after i noticed and got him checked out turns out he's all fine but just to be sure and especially with him living next to winston he's on three kinds of antibiotics i believe um so we're treating him for a potential uri that's basically unrecognizable in his system nonetheless i'm pretty sure he doesn't have one but again really great for precautionary measure and then also wanda was doing the same thing for one random night so we got her meds as well. She's actually going to be going on a nebulizer, two treatments every single day for about maybe two to three weeks, maybe even longer. She has been very prone to URIs ever since she was a baby when she passed her first one to Caroline. And I just think it's in her system and in her genetics to just carry this unfortunate gene of constantly getting sick with respiratory issues. So she is going to be treated as well. I think tomorrow I'm actually going to pick up her medicine and then start getting her on those. So I've got almost now four pigs on medication which is just insane to me but that is the life of having so many and this is the harsh reality of dealing with so many pigs at one time so yeah don't get it twisted that these pets are cheap because they're definitely not they may be small but those bills are not so yeah those are my little updates not sure if i'll film more today i'll probably show you guys the pigs a little bit later when i'm doing their veggies so i will talk to you guys later Alrighty, guys so i just realized that i didn't bring an sd card i brought my camera and everything um, <laughs> so I can't use my actual real camera, but I am just now at my parents. I wanted to actually show off the new chickens because we have moved them officially in. This is actually my first time seeing them since we actually have the new coop set up. But my dad had mentioned that one of these, our original chickens, was picking on... <gasps> I have a bug on me. Was picking on one of the new ones. So I just want to see... What is that? Oh, I think that's a strawberry. I thought that was blood at first. I hope not. But he said that one of them was pecking away at the others. Don't wanna really scare them. Hi babies, you guys okay? So what I'm gonna do is actually open up the run so that these ones can come out and then the little babies can as well, but I'll lock them in here. So that way the big girls can't access them. Come on chickies, let's go. Have fun, free roam. Good girls, all right. And then we'll close this up. So that way they can't come in and that these chickens can have some fun time by themselves out here. There you go, girlies. You got nothing to worry about because the, the mean girls are outside. So we'll let them have a little bit of fun in here. Here is the new coop. It looks stunning. We had it custom built. I really like the look of the natural wood. That's like my absolute favorite. So we've got a lower door access right here, upper one. We've got the main door right here to actually clean it out. And then we also got our nesting boxes to access all of the eggs, which there is none right now. I think my dad actually got them out this morning. And then a lower access door right here as well, plus some windows for ventilation. Also, excuse my voice, I'm still a little sick, trying to recover from a cold. Hey, Missy, come on. I don't know if you're the bully, so you can't be in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I put her out there. Uh, okay, so they got no water. So we're actually going to go ahead and get some fresh water. This one wants to come in. No, Missy. I don't know if you're the bully, so you can't come in. <laughs> Did I just get blood on me? How do I get that on me? Oh no, not good. So my dad had actually mentioned that there was one of the chickens that had a little bit of a scar on its head. Maybe it's this one, because one of the older ones was pecking away. So he's been putting some Neosporin on it for the last couple days, but they seem to be doing really well. Um, it is a huge thing with chickens, especially when you're introducing small ones to big ones, that they have to be, you know, relatively the same size because they can see uh, the dominance through, you know, the sizings of them. So if this one's bigger, she's a smaller one, they're gonna pick on them. It's just nature. I guess she just wants to actually lay an egg right now, but I kind of just want to force them outside 
and just see if they'll hang out. So I'm just gonna actually get in here with them. Can you not? <laughs> They're all like surrounding me. I'm gonna actually see if I can get them outside. Come on, let's go this way. And she probably won't wanna, mainly because they wanna stick together. So give me one second and I will uh, talk to you guys once they're out there. All right, so the chickies are now all out. As you can tell, they're very timid because they probably still think that the big chickens are in here with them. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat lunch and let them stay in here, get some fresh air, some vitamin D. They got their water and their uh, little feed to snack on. And then the big girls out here will just relax and just free roam all in the yard. So I just finished my lunch. I am outside hanging with Mikey. I actually haven't even said this to you guys. I actually started off this vlog with him because at the time this wasn't a thing. Um, but I can now say that Mikey is my dog. Uh, which so this is like this is like crazy just to say out loud because he was just a dog I was like babysitting and watching um, for my friend's sister and things just got too much for her and you know she decided that he'd be better off with me so Mikey is now officially a part of the pig room family so he's gone from New York City concrete uh, traffic no room to run around to a farm dog enjoying his life with plenty of room to run and play he's got his chickens as you can see he's just living his best life and he has my neighbors as well who have plenty of dogs so he is one happy boy and i'm just so incredibly happy to just you know overall just give him a better life with us so everyone welcome little mikey to the family he is almost six months old he is a shih tzu pug so he will be neutered in the next couple months um i believe it's between six months to nine months that's when you're supposed to get them neutered so we'll get that all scheduled he's up to date on all of his vaccines and shots he also was just treated with his flea and tick medicine but he is <laughs> do not run up on mikey he's gonna get you <laughs> he is one of the most sweetest boys but if you cross him he will get you um but he cannot outrun the chickens because they can actually like jump up there so they're fine he's really really happy out here enjoying the nice weather he's a he's a he's a baby i love him so much but yeah here's my other lady who i love she loves when i rustle her feathers and give her a nice butt massage Mikey's trying to sneak up on behind her. But yeah, this is my this is my favorite chicken. We get along the best. We got the best relationship. Oh. <laughs> this one. This one is the roller. Yes, you are. Hi, my boy. He is so well behaved and good. Still needs to be potty trained for sure because he still does have his accidents. But other than that, we'll get him up to par with that kind of stuff and we'll get this boy trained. The chickens seem like they're opening up a little bit more. They're still staying in their, you know, their group and stuff, but they were actually walking around in here, which is nice to see. I think I'm gonna actually just relock them up um, before I leave, um, just so that way they can stay in there and then the bigger chickens can be out here. Luckily, it's a nice day, so it's not raining or anything. So them being outside is actually pretty nice for them. So that's why I wanted to give them some fresh air for the time being. I'm not sure if I'll vlog anything else for the rest of the day. I know this vlog already is going to include a lot of random stuff. It's also gonna jump in like quality with my phone and my actual camera. So I apologize about that. It's gonna be kind of like a mashup of things, but I was really happy to show off the new coop to you guys and also show the new chickens. They don't have names yet, um, besides the gray one and white one. That is Ang. I know they are females, uh, but we do name them by boy names. It's just something that we don't really care about. <laughs> Mikey, what are you doing? That one's Angela. That was That is my little buddy over there. So yeah, I will update you guys and talk to you guys later. So before we carry on with today's video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Lubaloo for sponsoring today's video. Lubaloo was kind enough to send us one of their cordless vacuums. I think they know just how messy my pigs can get. So I am really thankful that they sent me one because honestly, in my opinion, I don't think you could ever have enough vacuums with having guinea pigs because they are so messy. And with having 16, there's always a mess. So Lubaloo was kind enough to send me one of their cordless vacuums for me to try out for myself. So I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and crack this baby open and test it out. This wire-free vacuum cleaner is great to clean any space instantly and effortlessly. With its lightweight design, it can be easily carried throughout your space and tackle messes in the biggest or smallest of spaces. Equipped with four layer HEPA filtration, not only does it suck up the mess you can see, but it also traps 99.99% of ultra fine particles, dust and hair with maximum efficiency. It's really important for me to be using 
products around my pigs that are completely safe in the products that I use like sprays and all that kinds of things and especially with vacuums because all of them have expelled features where the air will be blown out. So the reason why I really like this one is because it blows out only non-allergenic and fresh air leaving no fine particles to be blown out of the system. You can use this vacuum on practically any surface, carpet, wood, tiles, marble, stone flooring, anything that you possibly can think of and I really like it because it actually is designed to scratch no surfaces whatsoever so if you guys are going to be using this on more harder surfaces you guys are clear out of the way of scratches. Another really great feature that I love about this vacuum is that it comes with multiple attachments so you can get into the tiniest of spaces and I really like this feature because when it comes to getting in the cracks of my floorboards where little hay and poop can get stuck this is amazing and also on the sides of the cages I don't have to shift around anything move any cages I can just slide in the vacuum and suck up all of the poop and hay. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one for yourself I will link it down below in the description and thank you again to Lubaloo for sponsoring today's video. Remind me guys to like literally never shave my mustache again. I feel so freaking naked. I know some of you guys that are watching this are like finally but I love my stash, but I had to shave it because I ruined it when I was shaving it. So had to shave the whole thing off. But we just pulled up at the vet, gave him a call. So we're just waiting for them to call me to let me drop them off. As per usual, as I've always been saying, they're following protocol, proto protocol, <laughs> COVID protocol, because someone at that office uh, got COVID. So they're no longer allowing owners inside the facility, um, which is unfortunate because I do like to be in the vet's office with my vet and like interacting and just like feeling more personable rather than like her seeing them and me not interacting with her and just giving them to me and just following what they said is wrong with them, etc. But it is what it is. I mean, my vet is still as thorough as if I was actually there. So yeah, we're just waiting. Um, I don't know when they're gonna call me. I might get interrupted while I'm talking with you guys, but I kind of wanted to, um, I guess mainly talk about vision and kind of an update on him and like what's happening with that. And I guess also with Winston because things are kind of mixed now with having Winston like got the URI because obviously, you know, I planned on getting them neutered at the same time. They were supposed to, the schedule they for the same date. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Oh my God, she was really close to my car. It was the last thing that I needed. They were obviously scheduled for May 4th to both get neutered, but the vet came across Winston having upper respiratory infection problems or respiratory infections for that matter. So he was unable to get the surgery, which is unfortunate, but hey, it, it happens for a reason. And I'm glad that she detected this because it is a very serious issue. So what my plans are, I think are if Winston is cleared, I think I will proceed with the neuter. I do have a feeling though that they're not gonna be able to do it in the next, probably within the next month because that's how it was getting them both scheduled originally. So they went for their um, original health check a month prior to their actual neuter date. So I have a funny feeling that that's probably what it's gonna end up happening again for Winston. So he may be cleared by today, but not able to get into his surgery date for his neuter like a month from now, um, which is a little bit unfortunate and kind of doesn't make any sense to me because you'd want the pig to be fully cleared of health and then go in for surgery rather than waiting an entire month because so many things can change as we know because Winston got his health check, came back totally fine and then when it came to his surgery date 30 days later, he came down with a URI. So I don't really like that in the general sense so maybe I'll get lucky and then maybe they'll be able to schedule me in a little bit sooner. I would hope within the week but that's kind of me wishing on something that may not even happen. I thought there was another car that was gonna hit me. All these cars are just backing out near me. Um, so yeah, so I will obviously update you guys with what's happening with Winston, but I definitely want to follow through with Winston getting neutered, mainly because, you know, God forbid he wasn't to work out with any of my females. It will remove that sexual drive that he has that's female motivated. He is very motivated with the other male pigs, but just having his you know, his sexual drive cut off literally, I think would really help to calm him down. It's not gonna change his personality, but it will remove that sexual drive from him, which will be really beneficial for him. And then with Vision, he is doing A-OK. -okay. His uh, incision looks clean. He's getting his staples removed today. He's never found interest in actually like gnawing at them or chewing on them. One second, the vet's calling me. Okay, so gotta go in there. Um, so I'm gonna go drop off my little babies, um, get them checked out. I really didn't think they were gonna have to do another x-ray, but that's how they could tell that Winston had a URI. So it kind of makes sense to do that. So it's gonna be a pretty penny, but it has to be done. All right, so let me go drop them off and then I will chat with you guys when I get back. Okay, just drop them off. All good to go. They'll call me with what you know comes back with everything. Um, she actually complimented my shirt. 
Sarah, people are loving it. Get the word out there. I actually told them that this is my friend's business, so you may get a few sales, who knows? But what I was saying before, Vision is getting his staples removed. He's been taking his meds pretty well. I've actually found a method to administer their medicine a lot easier because they are some of the most difficult pigs that I've had to give medicine to. They're just fighters. They really are, but luckily I found a way to actually get the medicine in and they actually don't mind fighting me for it. But with Vision, he is obviously going to be bonded with hopefully my herd, which won't take place until after July 15th, if I'm not wrong. No, sorry, June, June 15th, um, which will be exactly six weeks. So within that week of June 15th, that's when he's going to be bonded, try to be bonded with my herd. The only pig that I'm concerned about with having, you know, vision come into the picture is Caroline. Caroline is very, very sassy. Um, she is an old sassy woman and she likes to pick on everyone. She has, none of my pigs are actually very aggressive, luckily, but Caroline's sassy. That's all I can say. She's a grumpy old lady who likes to hump and chase and all that kind of stuff. But it's always in a playful manner. It's never like concerning. Um, but I definitely think that like adding a male to the mix is going to make her a little bit pissed off because, you know, she's going to have to work on her dominance issues a little bit and kind of stoop down. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Caroline will take the throne. I would not be surprised because she is, she's one uh, thick woman. Like she could take down Vision. I'm sure she's actually bigger than him. Obviously record that entire process but that's what I'm really hoping for, for Vision to go with the herd. I'm a little biased because I want him to go with Wanda, you know, his his tried and true soulmate, if you guys follow Marvel series. And then with Winston, I want him to go with Lennon and Willow, um, mainly because I feel like he would be really great with Willow. I am, however, worried about him and Lennon because they're a little bit eh, they could be a little bit eh, um, but we'll see, obviously. You gotta try it out and just see what will happen. Um, and then, obviously, in the long term, you know, Lennon is older, I assume. I don't know her exact age, but she does give me older vibes. And when that time comes with her passing, you know, Willow will have Winston and they'll have each other and it'll be a much better dynamic um, because they're around the same age. So yeah, that's kind of my plans. Um, hopefully everything comes back clear. I'm really wanting to just like not deal with this anymore with having to give so many pigs medicine and all this kind of stuff. Obviously it's just a part of owning so many pigs. I actually had someone like DM me being like, why are your pigs always sick and stuff like that? And why do you have so many single males? In a very like, rude way as if it's like something that I'm doing to cause this kind of stuff but truthfully guys like if you have so many pigs you are bound to run into these issues it's a much different story if you have only two guinea pigs because you could get stuck with two really great healthy good genetic pigs and never have you know any reoccurring issues surprisingly my first two pigs Teddy and Kyle never had any issues and have like been lasting for so incredibly long with nothing going on. Um, so it just, it depends. It really just does depend. And they, you know, some pigs have good genes, some others don't. But I will blame it on the free roam time because having access to one another and each other's smells and dirty laundry, it can definitely cause issues. But going forward, you know, that's not going to happen anymore. But I don't feel as bad not giving free roam anymore, mainly because once I actually move up Winston and Vision to the upper level cages with the girls, I'll end up extending each single boy's cage by three square feet. So they'll be living in a three by four, which is perfect for them. So it's kind of a win-win-win, win-win-win. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully it all works out in regards to like the whole bonding. I am a little nervous. I'm definitely anxious because bonding days are not easy, but boy, we just gotta see. So yeah, I will, um, I'll update you guys with what I hear back from the vet. I uh, shouldn't be super long, but I'll be sure to update you guys with what I hear when they get back to me. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, Vision and Winston are back in the car. Got them in our possession. So, good news, Vision is all cleared. Um, his incision looks great. Got his staples removed. The little cut is all closed and good. Um, he did lose a little bit of weight, which is expected when getting a neuter because, you know, their appetite's just not as large as it usually is. With Vision, oh my god, I always get their names confused. With Winston, um, he came back about 75% clear with his URI. So it's still lingering in his system, which is unfortunate. Um, I definitely would have hoped that it would have been cleared. So he will be on antibiotics um, 
two for that matter, for another three weeks. So he's going to be on enrofloxin, which tends to be the medicine that that's prescribed for URIs. So just one of these oral antibiotics. And then he's also going to be getting the nebulizer treatment uh, that Wanda's actually going to be getting for the next three, I believe, three or four weeks. So he'll be getting one oral antibiotic with nebulizer and the same with Wanda and then vision's all cleared. So we've knocked off one pig off of antibiotics. So now we are just on two. I would have hoped it would have just been Wanda. Of course, it's gotta happen this way um, and you can't plan for anything to go a certain way. It's never, it's never, it never goes smooth with guinea pigs. That is for damn sure. But yeah, I'm actually probably going to be including how to build a nebulizer in this video, this vlog. I actually came across Saskia's video of her building it like a week ago. So it came at the perfect time. So I'll be following that to actually build my own. And I'll give you guys the rundown as far as like how that treatment goes for them. Yeah, those are my updates. Um, that's pretty much it for me on today. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so we are now in the pig room getting ready to start our little segment of this vlog. So what I first wanted to start off on doing was unboxing something that I ordered. As you guys could probably tell, it's from the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. I have really, as of recently, been anti-litter box. Not saying that I'm against them by any means. I think they're great. I think they're a really great stimulant for guinea pigs for burrowing. But with having really messy piggies, I wanted to find a way to really conceal that mess and make it less. That rhymed. So I decided to actually go ahead and splurge and I say splurge because these are about 20 I think $24 on Amazon so they're quite expensive but for what they are the design the look of them how many colors they offer it's a really great item so I decided to pick up two of these I actually already have one of them in the herds cage um, but I'm going to be opening this one with you guys I actually did today this morning place an order for 10 more so that way all of my pigs can have them and I thought it would be really great as well because the litter boxes that I have take up a lot of space and I feel like putting these in the cage will just help to clear up that space, giving them more room to run around and all that kind of stuff. So it's just gonna work out a lot better in the end. And then I think underneath the hay racks themselves, I'll put like some pig mats or something like that, which is a new product that I'm going to be launching very, very soon. So yeah, get excited for that. But if you guys don't know, they're just my own brand of bath mats. So super excited for those to be launched. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. So here it is right here, it comes in this nice box perfectly fitted with the hay rack. And then we also have the kind of the screws that actually go onto the hay rack. I decided to opt for, I believe this is like the walnut stain. Um, all of these are stained with pet safe uh, stain, which is really, really good. And then we have the Piggy's Choice logo on the back and it just says Piggy's Choice guinea pig approved. Now I did before I ordered these, I thought that they were going to come with a solid bottom. Weirdly enough, there's no solid bottom. I'm not sure why that is. I honestly would have preferred there to be a solid bottom because I feel like that would help to contain the mess a lot more. Um, but I guess for the purpose of making sure your pigs don't go inside of it and get trapped, you know, it is, it is nice to have. I guess because if they were to go into this one, like there's no exit hole so they would just be trapped right in here yeah i'm super excited for these i think these are going to be a hit amongst my pigs i'm happy because my mess will be a lot less and yeah i'm really excited they're going to look really really great in the cage so that is that um, for today's purchase now on to the knit and grit of today's video and that is that we are going to be doing um, a whole different treatment for wanda and vision oh my god i always say vision Winston, uh, Wanda and Vist Viston, Wanda and Winston are getting a nebulizer treatment. When I took, as you guys could have saw in the previous clips, uh, when I took Winston to the vet, she said that his URI was about 75% cleared up. So not entirely. And she did suggest that I put him in the nebulizer along with Wanda, obviously not together separately, but just treat them with the same treatment. I have so much of the actual medication. It comes in a huge saline bag, which I'll show you guys. So here is the actual medicine that they're going to be treated with. So I just actually place it inside of the, the nebulizer itself. So I've got a lot to treat with. So it should last me a decent amount of time, which I'm really happy about. It was fairly expensive. I think it was $300 my medicine, which is outrageous. Um, but for the price, I guess that I paid for having so much, it's kind of worth it. So if there's ever a case where my, you know, other pigs come down with a URI or symptoms of a URI, I can always throw them in here and treat them myself. Obviously, you know, in conjunction with going to the vet as well. So before I actually jump into this process of nebulizing Wanda and Winston, I just wanted to kind of talk 
talk about this very briefly in regards to like what this is, you know, what purpose does this serve, all that kind of stuff. So I actually, as a child, was on a nebulizer. I'm not sure of the exact reasoning why. Um, I know it had to do something with my breathing and my lungs and stuff like that and feeling very congested, but I was so young at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. My mom just, you know, handed me this and every single day and I, I would actually have to do this. I'm actually having to do it now with my babies. So when it comes to pigs with respiratory issues, um, nebulizing is a really great treatment. I have had Wanda on four separate rounds of antibiotics and nothing has seemed to kick the URI in the butt. It is always flaring up, you know, every so couple weeks, months, whatever the case may be. She's less than a year old and she's had four URIs, which is insane. This is a long-term treatment to really knock that out of the system. So when it comes to nebulizing, you are basically creating a sauna for all that mucus and all those germs to really come up outside of their system and to be excreted. This is actually a method that I had asked my vet about. She didn't suggest it, but I came across it through uh, Guinea Dad and also through Saskia from the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. And she actually put out a tutorial on how to build one. So I'll link that down below for you guys because this is not going to be a tutorial on how to build it. I'll tell you guys how I did it, but you can go ahead and check out her video so you know like the full rundown of how to do it yourself. So with this treatment, you know, we hope that this is going to, you know, help Wanda and her reoccurring URIs, and then with Winston kind of facilitate him in knocking out that 30% that's left. I'm mainly doing this for Wanda's case because she is the one that constantly has weird breathing. So this is really going to just loosen up again, like that mucus and stuff like that that's going on that's causing those clicking noises in her breathing and helping that to not happen. So for treatment, I have to do this for three weeks. Um, I have to do twice a day. For the first week, it's five minutes a day for twice a day. Second week is 10 minutes a day, twice a day. And then the third week is 15 minutes twice a day. So it's a lot. I have my work cut out for me, um, but I definitely can say that it is a little bit easier than medication because a lot of my pigs will fight me on it. And with this, you just kind of have to put them in here. Now it can be pretty scary to put a pig, you know, inside of a box and especially with a nebulizer because it gets very steamy in there. It's basically like a sauna. So they're not really sure of what's going on with them. They're probably panicking, thinking that they're in danger. What I'm going to do to kind of make the process a lot easier for them to not stress them out is to place paper towels down on the bottom to give them some attraction and then also get some lettuce to have them snack on while they're getting treated. The purpose of actually doing, you know, the treatment for the first week for five minutes is to adjust them to the process. You know, you don't want to stick their pig in here for the first time for 15 minutes because it's going to be way too overwhelming. So doing just five minutes will really help to acclimate them to the entire process and treatment. So what I have here is a uh, 16, 16, 20, 20 quart gallon uh, Sterilite bin from Walmart. And then on the top of it, I decided to drill some holes. These are air holes. It's really important to make sure that you do have air holes because if you were to not, all of that water vapor is going to stay in here and have nowhere to exit. Um, so you really wanna make sure that you have some type of air hole to actually expel that vapor from the nebulizer. Um, and also that your pig can actually breathe some oxygen in. Now you don't wanna create like too big of holes to where it's not going to work. You just need a few holes for some air to leave and also enter. So I have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 holes in this, which should be perfectly fine. And then we have our medication in here, which I'll give you guys a rundown about a little bit later um, and how I administer that. And then we, oh, I still have my little bits and stuff. So I'll just empty that out. We have the actual like nebulizer machine. So if this was to be for a human, like for, let's say for me, you know, I would like put this in my mouth, you know, stay with it for a couple minutes and treat my own self. But because you can't actually put this up to a guinea pig's nose or mouth, they're going to have to get the sauna experience as I'd like to call it. So what I did is I ended up drilling a hole about the same size as this one right here. So this will fit perfectly inside right there. There is a little bit of a, you know, gap because it's a little bit bigger than this. So I will be taping this to close up that hole to make sure that the medicine's getting all in here and treating them. And then on the inside, as you guys can see, we have the other mouthpiece, which will just click in right there. And then I have some tape to make it a little bit thicker. So that way it kind of closes up that hole a little bit more. We'll just push that in and then push it out a little bit. So it is fairly tight but just for safety um, of making sure that they're getting all the medicine that they can, I'm just going to tape right there to really get that, uh, that airtight finish. That is pretty much it for the whole entire nebulizer machine. Can't really go into this too far. It's my first time ever doing it. So we're going to see, it's a learning process of seeing how they actually take to it. I think Wanda should be fine in this machine because she's pretty calm, hopefully. Winston, on the other case, uh, he might be going a little bit crazy inside of the box. So what I think I'll do is I'll leave him in the box for a bit 
and then just see what happens with what he does and then start the machine. So let me go ahead and actually tape up this right here, lay down some paper towels inside of this and we will start with our first pig. Okay, so I just taped this nice and shut. Should be a lot more airtight than what it was before. Yeah, so that feels a lot better, nice and tight. And then we're going to go ahead and get some paper towel from over here, and then just put some of this into bottom of the nebulizer. There we are. All right, just like so. And then what we have to do is go ahead and grab our nebulizer machine, which is this right here. I grabbed this off Amazon. This will be linked down below to this exact machine. It was a little pricey. I think it was almost $35, $40. So what I need to do is hook up my tubing to this unit right here. So this is the tubing that the nebulizer came with. So I'm going to plug in this end right here, which blows the air into the tubing. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then we are going to hook up right on the bottom of right here, the other side of the tubing. Push that in as much as we can. Alrighty. And then we will turn this so we can actually open up the nebulizer kind of unit right there, the cup. And then there's these little dashes. I can't really show you guys because it's hard to see, but there's these little dashes of minutes. So it says two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, and eight minutes. So I'm going to fill it to the six minute line or right between the four and the six because I will be treating them for five minutes today. So I'll just place this into the cup and then slide this back. Yeah, there we go. So we've got it to our six line right now. We'll move this off to the side and then we'll close up this valve right here. And then to test this before we begin to make sure it's actually working, going to just run it for a little bit, uh, get the pigs used to the noise and then we'll get our uh, first pig inside of here. So as you guys can see, we've got our liquid nebulizer medicine right inside of here, filled up to this line. We've got our tape, which is causing an airtight seal. We've got our paper towels right inside of there. Here's our little cap that's actually going to push out the vapor medicine that are lid with our holes on top. So let's go ahead and turn on this machine and we'll see what happens. So I know that it does sometimes take a little while to get the treatment to start. So we're gonna give it some time and see what it does. But you should know that it's working once it gets a little foggy in there and you can start to see some smoke being blown out. As you guys can see, it's starting to happen. That looks really good. And I really like this machine as well because it's very quiet, so it's not gonna scare the pigs too much. All right, so yeah, everything seems pretty good. As you can see, all the medicine is coming outside of that mouthpiece. So I'm going to actually run this for a minute or two to make sure that it's really inside of here. And then we'll uh, grab Wanda. I'm also gonna grab some lettuce as well so she can do something while she's in there. All right, so let's go ahead and grab Miss Wanda. She's a little bit easier to pick up. Come on, baby. I know. I know, you probably don't want me to do this right now, but we gotta, we gotta treat you, baby. And then we will go ahead and just place her inside of the box. Damn, she fills up that whole thing. She is one chunky girl. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and place on the lid, like so. Timer for five minutes, and we will begin. So your pig's gonna be very confused with what's happening. It's gonna be normal for them to feel a little bit scared and feeling like, you know, they're not sure what's going on. But that's because this treatment is, you know, a little scary. It's not the normal, you know, administering medicine. But as you can see, it's all right in there. She's just snacking down on her lettuce. So we've got our five minute uh, timer going right now. So we are just going to wait that five minutes and then we'll uh, go ahead and take her out. So the treatment is all done. We've reached the five minute mark. Let's go ahead and turn it off. She did so well. As you guys could tell from that time lapse, she was just munching on her lettuce. So we're gonna go ahead and just take off our lid and I'm sure all the nebulizer medicine is going to escape right now. Yes, welcome back to the world, Wanda. You're in your little like spaceship. You did so good, Missy, very good. We're gonna go ahead and grab her and we'll put her back in her cage. And I'm also gonna give her 
back that lettuce because she was such a good girl. Sweet, all right, so that is that. We're gonna go ahead and change out our paper towels so we can get ready for Mr. Winston. Now he is the one I really am concerned about because he is our crazy boy. Not sure how well he's going to take it, but we will see. And for some reason, the pigs are going crazy. <laughs> Oh, they can hear her munching down the lettuce. <laughs> I forgot. I know, that's only for Wanda though. So we've just got some new paper towels in here for Winston. There's actually still a fair amount of medicine left. So it doesn't seem like the minute reading is accurate. So that's a little bit strange, um, but I did time it correctly. So let's go ahead and get Winston, who's right over there and start treating him. I'm gonna go ahead and put him inside of his box. Yeah, perfect. I want him to snack down the entire time like Wanda. So we're gonna go ahead and again, set our timer for five minutes, five minutes on the clock. All right, so we'll just close this lid just like so. Now I do expect Winston to go a little bit crazy uh, just because he is a little bit of a crazy boy. So he's not gonna be very sure of what's going on uh, because he is a little anxious, but just so long as he does his treatment, uh, we should be fine. You're okay, buddy. I know. And this is what he's like in his carrier when we take him to the vet as well. He is one crazy boy. That's it guys, that is the treatment. So let's go ahead and turn it off. I'm sure he'll be happy to be out of there. And then as you can see, all the vapor will come out. Welcome back to Earth, Mr. Wynn. You did so well, I'm so happy. So let's go ahead and get Mr. Winston out of here and we'll get him inside of his cage. All right guys, so that is the nebulizer treatment. So again, I'll have to do this twice a day. So morning slash afternoon and then nighttime. So I will be doing their second treatment tonight. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed that little segment. Um, if you do have any questions in regards to, you know, how I made this or, you know, any of the basically things that I got, the medicine that I was prescribed, you can uh, feel free to leave some questions and comments down below and I'll be happy to answer. But I will direct you guys towards Sasia's video of actually how to build this because it's a lot more in detail. I'm probably gonna just now, you know, clean up in the pig room because it's looking a little bit messy, just vacuum the floor and stuff and then do some spot cleans. Um, so I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. It is veggie time for the pigs. I have actually been feeding them a lot later than I usually do. Uh, typically I would feed them around like six-ish, um, but now I've been feeding them around like seven. I just feel like it holds them off longer with having veggies later. So it's been something that I've been practicing. They actually have been weaking now at seven, so a lot later which is working out great. On today's menu, we are going to have green bell pepper right here, two of those. Got some cucumber and some leftover romaine lettuce. And then I have some green leaf and red leaf lettuce as well. So a nice plethora for them. They got herbs yesterday, so no herbs today. And I'm actually going to be using my salad spinner. I ordered this a couple days ago and it just got here today as I was actually filming the nebulizer portion of this vlog. So I'm really excited because this is going to help save me on paper towels because I use so much to dry off my veggies. And my parents actually used to have one of these when I was super young and I've just never thought to repurchase this for my own self as an adult, but now I have one. Was it a little expensive? Uh, it was about $35. I mean, for the cost of saving yourself paper towels, like for literally years and years and years until this thing, I guess, decides to break, it's well worth it. But I'm the type of person that likes to do things right the first time, and I'm very particular about the things that I like to bring inside of my home, especially when it comes to the look of them. So I made sure to kind of splurge, I guess you could say, on the one that I really, really wanted. Obviously I could have spent less and it would have done the exact same thing, but just appearance wise, I really like the look of this one. So I'm just going ahead and opening it up. Pretty sure I don't have to assemble anything. So it's just this bowl right here. Wow, this is actually really nice. Um, remove yellow foam before use. So it's just this unit right here. So it's a nice, thick plastic, it's got the inside strainer, really nice thick plastic as well, goes in there like that, and then the actual unit that spins the uh, vegetables, <laughs> I was like blanking on the word. So that pops up like that, and then what you do is you just spin this, and all the water 
comes out on the side of the bowl, collects on the bottom, and you got fresh, slightly damp veggies because you don't want them totally dry. I always like to give them a little bit of water because it gives them more hydration and water in their system. This is awesome and it's a good size. You can obviously like fit a bunch of vegetables in here. Mainly it's just lettuce. I'm gonna be doing and herbs and stuff like that in this thing, but yeah, this'll, this'll come in hand. So let's go ahead and wash these veggies. All right, so I like to start off with washing my green bell pepper. Give it a good rinse. We'll do our cucumber as well. A big ass cucumber. Re-rinse some of this leftover romaine. It's already washed, but let's give it a good rinse just to be safe, obviously. And I already got to stock up on veggies again. I go through veggies so fast. Turn off this water so I can save it. Probably end up just doing the green leaf lettuce head today because it's pretty big. This should be fine for all 16 of them. This is plenty of lettuce. This is a lot. All right, let's go ahead and use our new salad spinner. I'm actually gonna give this a rinse before I use it. You know, just to get off any of that weird warehouse smell. And Mikey is crying right now because he wants to go outside, but we're actually gonna feed him together. I just got him some new food, so hopefully he likes it. Let's go ahead and put some of this in there. Not sure if I'll be able to fit it all, but we'll start off with that. Oh my God, so much easier than paper towels, wow. I'll just hit that to stop it. Give it a couple more spins. Beautiful, wow, that <laughs> took no time at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just transfer that to another bowl, clean bowl. And then we'll work on the other lettuce. All right, and just to see all the water that came out, here it is right here, we'll just empty that. All right, just like that, you got nice dry veggies. That was so easy. So this is the food that I have been feeding him since he first came over here to be babysat. But Alyssa actually let me know about their lawsuit and I definitely am not one to be feeding my dog food that was in a lawsuit for what was in their product. So I've decided to switch him over to better food. So I actually ended up getting, this is the Hills Science Diet uh, Veterinarian Recommended. I did a little bit of research and this was at the top of the list for the research that I did. Um, obviously, if you guys have any other opinions about this food, let me know. I'm always open to hearing with having, you know, my own dog now. I gotta like obviously learn as I go. Yeah, I definitely just like wanna give him the best diet and make sure that I'm not giving him anything that's like, you know, filled with anything and bad stuff. But I do know that giving them too much like soy and like grains and stuff like that is not the best. So I got the one that says no corn, no wheat, and also soy free. Yeah, hopefully he likes this, but because we've been feeding him the blue buffalo for a little bit now, I obviously have to wean him off of it. So we're gonna be mixing a fairly decent amount of the blue buffalo first, and then just a tiny bit of the Hills brand. We'll do that. And then I'll just get like a little handful. Yeah, probably just like, like this, not too much. And then just sprinkle that right in there and mix it. He really likes the blue buffalo food, so I'm hoping he likes it just as much as this one. Because I know with some dogs, it can get a little bit uh, difficult for them to eat dry, dry kibble. But actually going forward, um, I used to do this with my old childhood dog. Um, we made ground chicken because he was allergic to ground turkey and we did keep peas and carrots and then made them into meatballs and then we nuked them for about a minute or so, put that in with the dry food and he loved it. And I definitely think that it is great to give dogs like real food that's cooked. So I'll definitely be doing that with him very, very soon, just until we wean him off of the, the blue buffalo, this one right here. So let's go ahead and feed him this and see if he likes it. You want your food? Yes, come on. <laughs> Someone is excited. Go ahead and put this right here. As you can tell, he is loving his food right now. Thankfully, he is a dog that immediately took to having dry kibble. I definitely am not one that believes in giving dogs wet food. That's just my personal opinion. I think it causes runny poops. I don't think it's, you know, the best ingredients. And I definitely think that it's spoiling them too much with wet food. Also, I hear that giving them dry food is good for their teeth as well. Wet food, I feel like for me, would just be like a once a month thing as like a treat. But as I mentioned before, I'll do the cook food very soon for him. So he's just gonna munch down for right now. So let's go ahead and actually now take care of the pigs and give them their food. You can just tell how excited the pigs get for their veggies. She jumped up that entire thing. That's almost 12 inches. The pigs are ruthless, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting up their veggies and then we'll uh, get to feeding them. So 
I always like to start off on giving veggies to Leon and Styles because they actually get pretty sassy with one another when they know that it's veggie time. So I like to get them out of the way so they can calm down. But I think I'd be the same way too if I was, you know, a pig waiting on my veggies. Go ahead and get our lettuce for Lennon and Willow. I typically just start off with the top cages since they're easier. There you guys go. And then we will do our single pigs. So I just like to lay them out so I can just pick them up nice and easily. Just move that to the side. We'll give this one two peppers since that one's small. We'll grab this and this. So this one is gonna be for Mr. Jojo. There you go, bud. Here is going to be for Toby, who's getting a full cage clean tonight. Cause he is long overdue with that one. Recently neutered boy, Mr. Vision, who's doing so well, as you can tell, very food motivated. We'll toss that right in there. Uh, not enough lettuce for him. Let's actually get him a little bit more. There we go. What are you doing, Missy? Look at all my girls going crazy. We'll give some to Ezra, who's right here. Throw that right over there. And then we will do our boy Kai. Apologize that it's so dark over here. And then just to make this easier for ourselves, since I only have one hand, I'm gonna take off that grid. You can actually feed Winston his veggies. There you go, buddy. Have fun with that. Lots of changes are actually coming to the pig room. I'm getting lots of new lighting in here, so it looks a lot better. Christmas lights, actual better lights. It's fairly dark in here, so it's time to get an upgrade in that sense, so I don't have to keep using my ring light. Oh no. <laughs> this has happened once before, guys. Teddy is inside. She sometimes can't wait, and she likes to go over to Lennon and Willow's side and just snack with them, which, to be honest, is probably not the best thing to do given that they're not actual like cage mates, um, but they get along for the most part. They're not like super aggressive with one another. She just doesn't like anyone else in her cage and like bothering her and stealing the veggies. So come on, let's go Bubbies. So we're gonna actually just bring her off to the other side. I'm gonna have to actually use my both hands to get her. There you go. <laughs> All right, Miss Teddy, your veggies are coming. I promise, Missy. All right, <laughs> can't believe I caught that on tape. Get their veggies. All over there, beautiful. I can actually throw on my light. There we go, some more light in here. We'll get our handful of peppers for them. There you guys go. And then we will get one, two, three, four, five, and six. I know there's only five girls in here, but we'll give them an extra cucumber. Beautiful. All right, and then if I have any leftovers, I'll just give it to the rest of the pigs, just random. Whoever I feel like needs some more, give some to Jojo. Uh, Ashton already has a decent amount. We'll give some to Vision. There we go. All right, and just like that, all of the pigs are now fed. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this downstairs. And I think I'm gonna go actually play with Mikey some outside. So let's go do that. Alrighty, we've got the toy. Let's see, he wants to play. Mikey, what's this? <gasps> what's this? Is this your toy? <laughs> he loves this thing so much. You wanna play fetch? One, two, <gasps> three. He probably won't bring it back. He'll probably just run around with it. That's his favorite thing to do. Yeah, he's just gonna do his own thing now. What? What she got? What she got? Mikey, Mikey, Mikey! Now, if there's one thing I will say, having a dog is a really fun experience. Just like being out here with him and having like no socks on, just being barefoot, running around in the yard, really feels like I'm like releasing my inner child and like really tapping into that. You know, I used to have a dog. I got one when I was in, I think, eighth grade. And his name, his name was Riley. He was Yorkie Bichon, the cutest thing ever. I love him to death. And um, I actually lost him. I wanna say about two years ago. And it was always one of those situations that I thought like, there was no other dog out there that could have, you know, replaced him. It's funny because Mikey almost seems like that replacement, but in almost the exact same way as if my dog was reincarnated. He lays in the same spot that my dog used to. He has a favorite toy that my dog used to love. And he's just very similar personality wise to Riley, my other dog. It's just kind of, it's nice. And I feel like my my old dog is now here with me. It kind of brings out a part of me that I feel, I feel good having him and not like I'm like replacing, you know, my old dog and kind of knocking him out of my mind or picture or whatever you would say is 
the right term. I like to think from my dog's perspective of just being like, I know that he would love for me to show another dog just as much love as I showed him. You know, I'm doing just that with Mikey. So he really is the best. <laughs> He's biting on his tail right now. You wanna come over here and say hi to the camera, Mikey? And he is just a little love bug. We actually ended up going to PetSmart to get him a tag for his collar. He doesn't have one. Um, so we got his name engraved with my, you know, obviously number in case he was to run away. Um, but he's a great dog. Even though my backyard is fenced, but like not entirely, he has no want to even run away, which is really, really good. But I think he knows where home is, which is really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and keep playing with him a little bit, tire him out, hopefully get a poop out of it. I would really like that. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Come on, Mikey, let's go play. Where's this? Where's this? Go get it. We are nearing the end of this vlog. If you guys have made it to this point, kudos to you because I know this is going to be a long one, probably close to an hour. So thank you guys for being here and continuing to watch. Best for last, because we have just received a Weeks and Witches package in the mail. Alyssa actually told me that she was going to be painting two of my pigs. I know that she did Winston. I don't know the other one, so this is going to be a big surprise for me. I actually have two of hers over in the back, if you guys can see, of Toby and Ashton. So I'm glad to add two more Weeks and Witches products to my pig room. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack into this. I'm a little nervous, because I don't know which pig she did. Um, but nonetheless, I know that Alyssa is an amazing artist so I know it will be good. Hopefully they aren't damaged because sometimes USPS can be a little bit rough with our packages so hopefully everything is all good. So we've got her really gorgeous packaging with the star and moon, um, what, what would you call this? Dust bag? Poly bag? You know what I mean. And then as always in every, oh she's like a little bag too with her little, that's really cute. Like the little bag it's like a little matching one. I didn't know she even had that. Um, so we've got her, we <gasps> Oh, oh, she hooked me up. She got me the new stickers um, as part of her shop. We have the zero one, which is right here of zero and Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. And then we also have her little noodle one in a little bowl of ramen noodles. And she got me two? I have two of these. I don't know if you did that on purpose, Alyssa, but thank you so much. I still need to find a place to actually put these. Yeah, this is this is seriously adorable. I have to say this is probably my favorite one. I'm a little biased because I love Noodle, but love Zero to Death as well. So just opening that little bit, I'm already excited and happy. So we got two packages here. Which one do we open first? We got black or we got orange? I say let's get one of the pigs and let them decide. Hmm, who should we grab? Who is the volunteer? I think we should grab Jojo. Let's go grab him and see what he says. I need you for a second. I need you to volunteer as tribute to pick what package we open, little bud. Okay, I'm gonna put the orange one on my right knee, black one on my left knee, put him in the middle, and see which side he goes to. Which one? You gotta pick. Which knee? Huh? Are you making me choose? I'm waiting. All right, we're gonna go with the left since you went on the left. So again, I know she did Winston, but there's another pig that I don't know who she did, so I will be surprised no matter what. So let's go ahead and just crack this open. I think this might be Winston from what I can see. Is it Winston? It's literally, okay, you can tell it is Winston, so we picked the right one. This is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Not to mention an actual replica of Winston. Like right down to the eyeballs, like that's literally Winston to a T. Can we just like take a moment to admire that? I know it's hard to see, but like, holy crap, Alyssa, you like nailed that. I told her that I didn't want to have the holes drilled because I wanted to actually put these on my wall. I think I'm probably gonna put them over there since it's looking a little bit bare, but holy crap, this is so freaking cute. Winston, I wish I could take you out, but you are sick. So I can't, but I would love to show him this, but he can probably see it from over here. He's going crazy as per usual. This is amazing, Alyssa. Thank you so, 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 so much. I really, really do appreciate it. And we still have another one. This is amazing. All right, so it's a surprise because I have no idea which pig this is. If I had to guess, I want to say Vision. Vision or Jojo, that is my guess here. So let's go ahead and see. Also, not to mention the banana yellow. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss, love it. So let's go ahead and open up the second one, I was right, it was Jojo. It was Jojo. I can already see how like detailed this is and how much it looks like Jojo, even through the packaging. This is insane. Oh, she did the light gray background. <sighs> she knows I love my neutrals, she knows. Oh my freaking God, it's so freaking cute. Jojo, come over here, he's right over here. Can we just take a moment to just see? Is that not Jojo? Jojo, this is you. 
Doesn't it look like a mirror? That's what you look like, bud. Can you say thank you, Alyssa? Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, it's not a gray, it's like a, it's like a light brown color. Even better because she knows that is my color as well. I'm in awe right now. I'm literally, and I kind of also like how they're like opposites. So you got like yellow Jojo but like yellow background on here, then brown Winston, but brown background. These next to each other are gonna look so good. I am super excited for this. Thank you so much, Alyssa. You are seriously the best. You know how to hook me up. Seriously, thank you so much. I like cannot appreciate it anymore. Alrighty guys, so that is it for me on today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know it was a long one, but then again, I love vlogs and I love that I was able to jam pack this with so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. As always, please make sure to give this video a, a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every single week, sometimes even twice a week, even better. And until then, I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy. Bye guys.